very good morning to everybody. Uh, before I uh, begin my address, I thought I would uh, share my own personal experience in terms of uh, uh, retail. Now, three, four months ago, I went to a Bata store in my neighborhood in Chennai. And as soon as I walked in, a salesperson sort of greeted me. He didn't know who I was. He asked me what is that I was looking for. I told him I was looking for formal shoes. Then he wanted to know what type of shoes, whether it's a lace, without lace, what type of sole. Then he wanted to know what is the price range I'm looking for. And finally, now after spending about 20 minutes trying various shoes, I asked him for one particular type. And then he went inside and came back and said, sorry, we don't have your size. That's the experience that I had in that particular store. Compare this to another experience that I had when I was purchasing online in Amazon. Again, I was looking for shoes. This time I was looking for sports shoes. You know, Amazon has already got my profile. It knows that I play golf and I also jog. So the moment I logged in and said that I'm looking for sports shoes, tap came the question, hey, are you looking for golf shoes or running shoes? And then I picked up a golf shoe as an option. Then it came up, hey, last time you bought this Nike Air model, we have several new models, which one would you like to choose? So it was very interactive, very intuitive, very pleasant experience, and finally I selected what I wanted, and it, Amazon obviously knew what size of shoes I wear, so everything was there. So that experience was very, very pleasant. As I was closing the sale, popped up another question, saying that hey, people who bought these type of shoes also bought these accessories, would you be interested? And Nike also has come up with a, a new golf apparel, would you be interested in buying, looking at some of those? Then you start extending your purchases. I bought a couple of t-shirts too. So the, why I'm narrating this experience is the difference between a consumer experience of what one goes through when you enter a physical store vis-a-vis -vis how rich the online stores have become. It's a very, very pleasant experience. And not only that, you know, they have profiled you, they know your taste, and they are able to be a lot more proactive and make the experience very, very rich. I think that is the transformation that retail industry is going through just in front of us. That is smarter, disruptive, and very, very instant. So the topic that RAI has chosen for this conclave is very, very appropriate. And uh, I hope everybody in this room, as well as those who are not present who are in the retail business take notice of the important role that the technology plays in transforming the retail business. It's very, very essential. I'm very glad that this is the 10th year of this convention and particularly happy that NASCOM as an industry body has been associated with the Retech Conclave for the last seven years continuously and we reaffirm, reaffirm our commitment to work with the RAI in terms of leveraging technology to better the reach of the retail industry to consumers across the country. And as technology becomes, I would say, the backbone of the business, particularly in retail, it's only appropriate that NASCOM and RAI work very closely to explore newer avenues, newer opportunities, so that together we are able to serve our consumer needs better. And just looking back a little bit, you know, I've been in this industry for almost 35 years. It makes me feel very old. But I've seen the generations of mainframes in the 1970s, the mini computers in the 1980s, and then the 
the PC and the client server architecture in the 90s and then the e-business wave in the early 2000s. And now, more recently, what we call as the digital wave, leveraging the smack stack of technologies. And if you really look at the transformation that each of these technologies provided when they were introduced, it is significant. But in the past, 